Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use class variables in Python. This is the third video in the Python Intermediate Object-Oriented Programming series, and by the end of this video, you will have a great understanding of how to use class variables, and this will help you to become a much better programmer. By the way, if this is your first time here, my name is Caleb Shaw and I make programming tutorials and other computer related stuff, so if you are interested in that kind of content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so class variables are variables that are shared between all instances of the class. This means that they are the same across all instances. Okay, so I've just got my house class here and we have our instance attributes here. And now let's make a class variable. So to do this, let's make a class variable called roof. Roof equals true. And let's create a method that cleans the roof. So define clean roof self. We need to have self in there because the instance is automatically passed. So self is the instance if roof print cleaning cleaning roof else print no roof to be cleaned. Okay, so if we save this and let's actually call the clean roof method, so house one clean roof and run it, we'll get an error because name roof is not defined. So this is because when we access them, we have to either access them through the instance or through the class. So we have to use house.roof or self.roof. To explain this a little bit further, I will just print out the roof using the class and the instances. So print, uh, let's print out uh, house.roof and let's also print out house1.roof and let's, let's just comment out clean roof here and we get true and true. Remember with class variables, you don't actually have to create the instance first, you can reference the class variable directly through the class like this, house.roof. Whereas with instance variables, you have to create the instance first and then print it out. So when we access an attribute from an instance, it will check if the instance itself has the attribute, and if it doesn't, it will see if a class has the attribute. That is what's going on here. House1.roof doesn't exist, it's not an instance variable, but house.roof does have it, so house, house1.roof is looking for the class variable roof and it's found it, so it takes that. To prove this, we can get the attributes of an instance or a class by using the special dix method. If we print out house1 dot underscore underscore dict and run it, we can see we get doors to windows 6 and floors 3. And these are all the instance attributes right here. But if we print out house.dict, we can see we get quite a lot of stuff that we don't want. But we can see we get roof here is true. And we didn't have the roof in the house 1. So what house 1 is doing is because it can't find it, it's searching through the class itself and trying to find the class variable. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uncomment this and change this to false. And we can see that both the house and house1 are at false. So the value has changed for both class and the instance. How about we change the roof value of the instance instead of the roof value of the class? So what we can do is we can do house1.roof equals true. So we run that and we can see we get false and true. So house.roof is false up here, but house1.roof has been set to true, so it's overridden this false for the instance. So it's only overridden its own attribute, it hasn't overridden any any other instances. So if we just create another house, call this house2, and then we'll print house2.roof. House2.roof is still false. It's only edited with house1.roof. It's overridden roof equals false for house.1. So when we did this assignment, it created the actual attribute within our instance. So if we print the dict again, if we print dict, so print house1.dict, we can see 
that Ruth now exists. So if we just get rid of all this. And now going back to the original idea, so house1.cleanRoof. We would get different results depending on whether we use self.roof or house.roof. So if we do self.roof, no roof to be cleaned because roof is false. But if we change house1.roof to false, to true, sorry, it's overridden that, so cleaning roof. But what happens if we change house.roof? No roof to be cleaned because it's accessing the roof here and it's never got overridden. Self.roof is equal to true, but house.roof is equal to false. And it really depends on the situation whether you want it to have it as house.roof or self.roof, and you have to choose whether you want to access a value that will be the same for all instances or your specific instance. If you want to change it for all instances, you should use the class variable, and if you want to update it only for one instance, you should use the instance variable. Okay, that's it for class variables. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will always reply. If you would like to support me, be sure to give this video a like. It really does help me out. I post programming tutorials and other computer-related stuff. So if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe. I upload daily. That's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.